Well, I did not think today was going to be as nice as it is. It is absolutely stunning out here today. Um, this is probably going to be my last trip um, of the season out on the boat. Uh, the weather is getting worse and my next trip out to the boat will be probably to collect it, bring it in and put it in storage. But it won't be my last video because uh, when I get in storage, I've got some work to do on it. I'm going to winterize the engine and um, I'm also going to do a few little jobs around the boat just to make it look nicer. So I'll do a video on that and I'll tell you what I'm doing. Right, so I'm going to go a different route today. I'm going to head out the normal way through the channel markers, um, but I'm going to then turn right and head around towards Dawlish. I'm going to try and find a, a little beach, secluded beach that I camped at last year. Went and kayak camped. So um, yeah, annoying that I've got to go all the way up that way to then turn right, but in theory you're not supposed to go across that way. I possibly could make it with the tide as it is at the moment, but I'm not going to chance it. So I'm just going to follow the right routes and uh, head round and just have an enjoyable day looking. There's a load of sail ships out today. Not much wind for them, but good luck. I don't know about you, but sailing just seems a lot of hard work. I mean, one, you've got to rely on there being wind, which majority of the time there is, but it's like, well, you've got to go out when it's almost bad weather. What's the point? I don't get it. Comment below. Tell me what you think sailing is better than motorboating. Um, but yeah, I understand that you've then got the freedom of the seas, you haven't got to use any fuel, you're just using wind power, which is great. But um, it just seems like a lot of hard work with sails and stuff like that. Maybe it's made to look harder to put idiots like me off of trying it. Who knows? looking so good out this way. I always find that over towards Dawlish there seems to be a lot of cloud and mist that sort of comes in which is a bit weird I don't know but yeah it's uh, lovely and sunny over in Exmouth and Dawlish there's a f I think there's a sea fog coming in so hopefully I'll uh, get there and have a look around and then uh, spin it back in time before I get stuck in the fog. So I think I found the beach that I camped at. I think. That looks like it there. Where those two rocks are. Let's go and have a look. Right, so that wasn't the beach. It's further along. I know where it is now, I can see it. There is Dawlish, I think, and the beach should be just tucked away around the back there somewhere. A bit choppy out here. I don't know why, my back seat, whenever I go over sort of 20 odd knots, it just falls flat on the floor. I think there's a bit of a backdraft coming over. So I'm going to get some Velcro for that, get it stuck up properly. Look at my hair. It's all fly away and unmanageable. So basically, uh, me and a camping friend canoed around through here from the back across here and onto this beach here and we camped up there's a top section just behind this rock we had a little camp out there which was fantastic so 
a beautiful little spot and you can't get to it. So you, you have to get to it by a boat or kayak. There is a tunnel that sort of goes through there, but I don't think you can access it. I think it's blocked off at the uh, far end. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty cool. Pretty cool little camp. My first ever kayak coastal beach camp. It is a lovely day. I want that house. Although it looks close to falling in the sea. <laughs> boat gone all the way through there. I think he went through the gap. There's an archway there which I took my canoe through. I'm not sure I'll take the boat. tank of fuel so I'm gonna swap the tanks over now because I brought a new one out with me. So that's the old one there and I've got a new full one there. Hopefully. Be a bit worrying otherwise. There's some kind of a yacht race going on over there. Tons of that. Right moment of truth. Was it the fuel or was it a problem with the engine? Right, so now I'm on my uh, second and last can of fuel. I'm just going to take a slow poodle back in towards the harbour at Exmouth. Beeping like mad, saying I'm at 200 feet deep. I'm sure, it's not. It's 
obviously I'm going to head towards the boys and the uh, entrance into the channel to get back to the marina. Well, not that I'm in the marina, I wish. Might get one in 10 years time, a mooring in there. I think there's a fault on my depth gauge, so I'm just going to go and check it at the back. in the same position so I don't know why it's showing 436 feet because it's not 436 feet here not unless I've just driven over the Mariana Trench switch it back off and back on again try the good old IT reset that's more like it 14 feet 400 my butt so yeah as I was saying next video will um, probably be after I've taken it out of the water, so I probably won't film it, uh, but I'm going to get it out of the water, um, get it into storage, and I'm going to uh, winterize the engine. I'll do a few bits and pieces on the boat as well, um, just a couple of little upgrades, and I'm going to wash it, polish it, buff it. Um, I'm also probably going to take the uh, stickers off and put new ones on, so I found some decals online that you can uh, that go with this boat. They're, they're all blue though, rather than a bit of red, because this has got farrow in red hopefully you can see it there so it'll be in blue which is a shame but they don't do it in red for some reason so right let's head back in to Exmouth Me. Simple as that. Right, well, that's me back at and moored up. Uh, my probably my last and my longest adventure um, for 2023. So next time you see me, uh, it may be, maybe I get out again. But if not, I will be uh, at the storage site um, doing some bits and pieces. So I go over what I do when I get the boat out and into storage. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, hit the thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.